<laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. You weren't gonna check if I was dead. Well, if you're still here a few days and you hadn't moved and you started to smell, then maybe I would have. My girlfriend checks every hour from my life. It's kind of annoying, actually, when you're trying to sleep. Is she in the bathroom or something? <laughs> she doesn't like hospitals. She just drops me off and picks me up. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Despite being pumped full of poison. It's one of my good days. That's good. Well, everything looks good in here. I'll see you in a few hours. Promise I'll scare you again. Thank you. Hey, Lisa. I'm done with my treatment. I've been waiting outside. Uh, just wondering if you're on your way. Okay, bye. Thanks for picking me up. Yeah, no problem. Did she forget again? Yeah. I'm sure she got home before work. Probably. Before you go in, did you want to get something to eat? No, I'm not feeling too great. All right. Well, yeah, let me know. Just, just let me know if you need me to take you on any more appointments. I will. See you soon. It's okay, I don't feel too hot. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna shower and then I'll be up to bed soon. Okay. It's a ride, by the way. It's cool. I know you do it for me if I needed it. Hey, don't worry about this, man. I know it's gonna work out. The chemo shrunk it. They'll be able to take it out. We didn't do it this round, second round definitely will. Yeah. You need me going? Nah, no, no thanks. You sure? Yeah. This is something I want to do on my own. Okay. 
I'll be here waiting. Thanks, man. So we'll get right down to it. Tumor did not react to the chemo the way we had hoped. It actually grew larger. It's now metastasized to the liver and will continue to spread. I'm sorry. How much time are we talking? A year or two or? With chemo, about 10 months. Six. done with chemo. What? How could you say something like that? I can't do it anymore. I'd rather spend the rest of my life without the pain that it causes, even if that means losing a few months. You can't just give up like that. You can still beat this. No, I can't. Why am I the only one that can accept that? That's selfish. You can't just give up on everyone. You can't just throw it all away. It's not just about you. Did you even think about how this would affect me? No, you didn't. I've made my decision. You know what, I can't, I can't deal with this anymore, okay? It's too much. I'm done. Wait, Will, that's not, that's not what I meant. So that's it. That's it. You can't just give up. I have cancer. I'll be dead in six months. You can fight this. I tried. And try again. If that doesn't work, try again. You can never just stop trying. I'm done trying. You, you can't. I'm telling you, you could beat it. You don't get it. I could tell that you're just gonna die. I, I get it. I get that you're gonna die. Stop. You're just gonna give up, lay down and die because you're scared? You're damn right I'm scared. And I need you to be here for me. I need you to be my friend, but you're making this hard right now because you're too selfish to see how this affects anyone but you. You're the selfish one. You're taking the easy way out. Why? Because I want to live my last six months in a hospital bed with poison pumping through my veins, not being able to use a bathroom on my own. I want to die with some dignity. There's no dignity in death. There's just death. 
I can't believe you're doing this. I need you. I need you to tell me that my life wasn't pointless, that I live for something. I'm not telling you shit until you decide to fight. Please, I need you to be here for me. You're my best friend, I can't do this without you. But Such an awful friend. No, you're not. It's just a hard situation. But my sister wished it wasn't hard. That you got me through my mom dying in that car accident. You were there for me when no one else was. You helped me through the hardest day of my life. And I can't even really be there for you, man. It's fine. I can do this on my own. I should be there with you, man. I wish you were. Job, left my notice of my apartment. Where's the second place we're going? The second place? Yeah. First place we're going is to your lawyer's office, because you're leaving your house and all your stuff to me. I left mine. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Say we're going to a tropical island, because I expect no less. Well, let's go. You're dying here. <laughs> 